for more on this, let's cross over to Toby Cabin. Toby is a specialist in international law and joins us from Kigali in Rwanda. Uh, Toby, we just heard there from a member of the House of Lords that Shimima Bagum does actually have an option when it comes to uh, citizenship, referring to her uh, Bangladeshi origin. Another option is, as we just stated, Dutch citizenship to her husband. But could it turn out that she actually becomes uh, stateless? Well, it's, it's a very interesting point, and it was interesting to hear from Lord Carlyle because Lord Carlyle was the former uh, terrorism specialist, as ter terrorism advisor to to the coalition government um, before Theresa May. So, uh, obviously, what what he has to, to say um, has has some significance. the The question really is whether the ability to to obtain Bangladeshi citizenship would be enough. Um, to use under UK legislation that would not make her stateless. Um, it is it is unclear um, the, the position of the Bangladeshi government, of course. Um, I don't think the question that she could get citizenship through her Dutch husband would be enough um, to, to, to cover that. But certainly the fact that she is eligible um, for Bangladeshi citizenship, which would make her a dual national, um, may be enough to, to, to satisfy uh, the requirement that she's not made stateless. I want to hear your take on this, but does the UK actually stand on firm legal ground when it comes to stripping someone of their, of their citizenship, in, in this case, uh, Shamima Bagums? Um, I think it's on very weak grounds. Um, and uh, clearly her defense team would be making that argument um, in court. Uh, they will they obviously have a right to appeal the decision and they will be saying that that is not sufficient not to render her stateless. Um, and I think the defense would have, have some strong grounds to make that. Um, it's interesting that over the last 24 hours, the, the, the international legal community on Twitter is, has been fairly divided uh, as to whether um, that is strong grounds or not, um, uh, I'm, I'm slightly conflicted as to as to whether that would uh, amount to a strong ground. I don't think anyone will have particular sympathy for her, um, but we have to strip away strip away the the moral argument uh, and just look at the legal argument. And I think her 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 defence, her appeal, uh, would be on relatively strong grounds to say that it is not sufficient. Um, to satisfy the law, and she could still be made stateless. Okay. All right. Toby Cameron joining us live from Kigali in Rwanda. Thank you for the update.